it's been a while since I've made a video, but I thought I'd give it a try again. Um, I got a kit from scrapbook.com. It's their uh, winter kit, and I don't buy a lot of kits because I tend not to use them or I don't like them. Uh, most of the papers in them, things like that, I have kind of a weird taste, I guess. Um, but I liked most of what was in here and it had a lot of variety and so I thought I'd give it a try. I don't know how often they come out with the kits. This is the only one they had listed. Um, but I'll be checking back and seeing, um, I like all but like two of the papers. So that's pretty good. Um, usually a lot of the times when I'm watching the other videos about the kit openings and things like that, I don't like a lot of that, uh, a lot of the papers, um. And then it came with quite a bit of embellishments, but not too much, too overwhelming. I'm not big on embellishing. Um, so I kind of just like flat pages and simple and that sort of thing. So, But uh, here's the kit. Again, it's from scrapbook.com. It's their winter kit. Um, so it came with some washi from Little B. And it's kind of cute. It has, like, I don't know if you can see it, but silver stars on the blue background. Uh, it came with the Teresa Collins, the little tickets um, label sticker pack. So this will go a long way more than just this kit. Um, so there's those. It came with some My Mind's Eye, the Necessities. Sorry, my lighting's horrible. I haven't made a video in forever. I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. Um, so anyways, the silver and the bronze and the gold and hearts and stars and arrows. Um, it came with the Kaiser Craft Collectibles. And then, of course, why would it focus? Uh, so the Kaiser Craft Collectibles, and it's the Hello Today. So it comes with all these die cuts. It shows them on the back, or most of them. So lots of different. There's a 2015... And happy days, kind of all generic day to day, uh, which is nice. It's not real themey, um, especially for a winter kit. It's not, you can use it throughout, um, not just for winter pictures. Um, it came with the Me and My Big Ideas, the Pocket Pages um, specialty cards. And it comes with 18 glitter and 18 foil. And here they are on the back. There's black. Um, glitter and then silver glitter and then champagne foil and silver foil and it looks like it's supposed to be kind of a wedding themed um, but it doesn't actually have anything that has to do with wedding again it's very generic true love gift um, live the dream to the moon and back I love you to the moon and back this is my life, that sort of thing. So it's, again, very generic, which is really nice. It came with some Prima flowers. I don't know if I'll... I'll probably make a card and maybe put one of these on. I don't know. I guess it depends on the scrapbook page and how I would use those. A little out of my style. But um, then it has this Heidi Swap stamp. Um, Love you more. Let your light shine, uh, pretty much perfect. Here it comes with a camera and a light bulb, high voltage smile. Think happy thoughts, honestly I love you. So again, it's quite non-winter themed and there's lots of stamps you could use um, on cards and even you know scrapbook pages and in Project Life, all those things. So that was kind of nice. And then for the papers, um, it came with Bo Bunny, and this is the Candy Cane Lane, uh, Jack Frost. So there's that side. It's not sure. It's like a blue, teal, aqua, whatever one you'd like to call it, um, with snowflakes on it. The back side is this gold stars. They're matte gold stars. Um, the next one is one of the ones that I'm not real fond of. Um, it's by Webster's Pages. And it's kind of a water color effect. Uh, I might be able to use it as a background. And then this chartreuse wood grain. That's kind of an awful color. But it's beautiful, chic, and uh, 
watermarked is the color by Webster's Pages. And this one is awful. I don't know how you would ever make a piece of paper like this, but they did. And so it's in this kit. It's again by Webster's Pages. And that looks like old leather upholstery on like a couch or a chair. And then this side is not as horrible, but it's called Buttoned Up. And it's Beautiful Chic again by Webster's Pages. But it's got hearts and birds and butterflies and it has nothing to do with the rest of the kit. So I'm not quite sure what they were thinking on this piece of paper, but um, I might be able to use it on a card for Valentine's Day, but probably not in any of my pages. Um, this one is Frosty Friends by Bo Bunny. And this one is the gray dot, gray on white polka dots. And then the cute little critters on the back. Um, and this is Frosty Friends Bundled Up. I kind of like it for the polka dot side, rather. Uh, this is Bo Bunny uh, Altitude Patrol. Not real fond of this side with all the patches, but I really like this side with the words. I don't know if you could see the words on there. Oh, yeah, you can. Oh. So just lots of winter, Christmas words on there. I like that one. And Bow Bunny Altitude again. And I love this ombre with the purple and the light blues and dark blue or teal, I guess, is the color. And I love this side, too. These are just kind of my colors. And this one. Why is it not? It's just Altitude. It doesn't say any. Oh, Cold Snap. Sorry. There's that one. Um, this one is Bow Bunny Altitude. It's called Blizzard, and it's this really nice wood grain with all the colors and the snowflakes. I really like this piece of paper, too. And then kind of a weavy, um, kind of gray taupe color with white, and there's snowflakes on there, too. Um, this is Altitude Rustic. Again, doors. Maybe focus. Sorry about that. So there's the rustic, all the little doors and things like that, which is kind of neat, kind of not. And then this side is really nice with the bokeh effect. It's kind of that creamy taupe color again, make a nice background. Um, it came with Oh Dear uh, from, this is Cozy from Fancy Pants. So it's that great teal color again. And then on the back is this this pattern and these colors don't really match with the rest of the papers but I think it's mainly for this teal color as kind of a cardstocky base. Again, uh, Fancy Pants True Friends and this is one's Loyal. Again, it's just kind of a taupey color or dark lightish brown taupe color. Kind of a black on the back but I like it for this kind of a cardstock base. I'm very much a plain base um, type of scrapbooker. Uh, this is Christmas Cheer Echo Park, and it's kind of a, well, it's not kind of, it's a chalkboard <laughs> kind of paper with this green on the back. It's chalkboard like green is what it's called, so it must be just a basic cardstock. And it came with this Craft My Colors cardstock, so just a craft piece, and then this purple piece also. And this is a doodle bug purple. Alright, and then you get some cut aparts. Again, Bow Bunny Altitude. So there's lots of different cut aparts you could use um, for cards or inside the um, Project Life. So it's kind of like a card scrapbook Project Life kit all thrown into one, which I really like because I kind of am trying to do a little bit of Project Life, just kind of a monthly, not a weekly or daily. I'm just putting, you know, the pictures together in a month as kind of like an overview. Um, there's teal and white snowflakes on the back of that one. And you get this vellum piece by Webster's Pages, and that's kind of cool. Maybe I can layer, uh, cut it up and layer with some. I might put it on cards as well. Then you get the Capture Life Alphabet by Echo Park. So it's just the white and black kind of a stripe, a diagonal stripe, and then there's some random words. 
down at the bottom. So again, very non themy The papers are a little themy, but they're still just those bright colors that are nice for winter pages. So that's the kit I got. It's from scrapbook.com. And um, so that's what I hope to be using, and hopefully I will use it and not just stick it in a box like I do most kits. It's very bad about that. So um, I'll try to get some pages done and hopefully show you the pages and do a kill a kit video since I don't do very many videos anymore, but um, there's that kit. I ordered another one, the new ones from the Button Farm. Um, they have a new um, kit out and I love their albums, but this is a scrapbook kit, kind of a document your days or whatever, and it comes with um, the papers and embellishments and they so overload that their album kits that I'm wondering if they're doing the same for their scrapbook kits and then it comes with also like six double page um, spreads so if you don't want to do your own you can kind of copy theirs until you get back in the swing of things it's been a while since I've crafted so I'm hoping that this will jump start me and then that one will jump start so I'll film that one when it comes in and I hope you all have a great day and uh, hopefully talk to you soon bye